when Fleetwood Mac met Game of Thrones Vertical Line Television and Radio Vertical Line The Guardian. Turn Auto Play Off. Turn Auto Play On. Please activate cookies in order to turn Auto Play Off. Jump to Content Test. Jump to Comments C. Jump to Site Navigation 0. Jump to Search for. Terms and Conditions 8. Edition, UK US So. Your Activity. Email Subscriptions. Account Details. Linked Services. Profile Mobile. About Us. About Us. Australia Team. Contact Us. FAQs. Press Office. Jobs. Terms of Service. Privacy Policy. Advertising Guide. Guardian Weekly. Subscribe. How to Subscribe. Guardian Weekly. Email Services. Ethany. Android. .gsc control csd width, 25 rem exclamation point important, padding, 0, float, right, input .gsc search button background color, number sign pddddd, border color, number sign pddddd, input .gsc search button colon hover background color, number 999, border color, number 999, news, world, sport, comment, culture. Business. Environment. Science. Travel. Technology. Life and style. Data. TV. Video. Culture. Television and radio. Game of Thrones. Previous. Blog home. When Fleetwood Mac met Game of Thrones. Steve Enix says she has written poems dedicated to characters from Game of Thrones. Here's what we think she might have come up with for Dean East. Jon Snow and Cersei Iros vertical line. Share. Tweet this. Email. Dina East Iros vertical line. A she got dragons on her shoulders. Photograph. HBO. And they say poetry is over. Adoredly eccentric singer Stevie Nicks says she has written a bunch of poetry about Game of Thrones Iros one for each of the characters. I know what you're thinking. Isn't it time Carol and Duffy jogged on and let the Fleetwood Max Iron become poet laureate? Nix hasn't yet published her verses, but given the emotional angst, philosophical profundity and the queer she customarily packs into a couplet, how could Nix's George R. R. Martin's inspired poems not be superb? Let's let's imagine what they'll be like. Fiend East. Rock on Iros Fiend East Targer and you've got baby dragons on your shoulder. And a liberal stance on nude scenes should the script demand it. Who who? You're just like the white wing that's flying to your nest throne, love through fire, ice and, you know, dolor. Oh, I wondered if that's your natural hair color. Rock on Iros Fiend East Targer and you've got baby dragons on your shoulder. And, girls, you know you know how to work that off the shoulder number I actually pioneered, yeah. Like 50 years ago or something. Who, 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 girls. You weren't born to make things easy especially for Ian Glenn who plays your bondsman's ear Horat Mormont. What a jerk off name men. Don't get me started have I ever told you about Lindsay Buckingham. She ate. Don't even go there who? 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 Jon Snow Iros vertical line so cold and yet so hot. Photograph. Ellen Sloan. Jon Snow. I'm climbing the icy wall bound to fall especially cuts that clown with the googly eyes from the office yeah, that's him. Mackenzie Crook not what you'd call a look yar. Is cutting my rope. And the girl who stole my heart. The one with a sour face like McFleetwood and Sam Fox's love child. You know who I'm talking about. She's not all that. She's conflicted which isn't what you want to hear when you're dangling from a sheer ice cliff. I need you to love me I need you today I don't want any more girl on boy fisticuffs because I'm sensitive and faith. It's easy to confuse me with news presenter Jon Snow. Some have made that mistake, but I'm, like, 700 years younger and built. I'm just saying Cersei Iros vertical line. Those are hair extensions, right? Photograph, HBO. Cersei. Cersei rings like a bell through the night and wouldn't you love to love her? Cersei rings like a bell through the night, especially if you're her brother. All your life you've always had a non-judgmental approach to sibling rumpy and a snooty eyebrow thing that makes your dwarf brother jumpy. Plus more wicked witchery than Christine McVie which is saying something, whoa. And an evil son who makes you fret over nature versus nurture. Was incest in the Middle Ages forbidden? What do I look like, a historian? All 